Hello. I thought I'd make this video today here in my one of my favourite spots here. Where's a good? The sun's a little bit bright in my eyes there, so I think that's that's better. Um, yeah, this beautiful tree, such a wonderful for me, a, a resource. That's what I'm talking about today. So yeah, just being with the beautiful energy of this tree and sitting near the tree or standing on that really assists me to tap into things. Nature is like that for me. I find so much um, connection and insights and, and wisdom through spending time in and with nature. And everyone's different where they find their the resources that can really assist them to be more and and do more what you know live into your fullness your fuller a fuller expression instead of you know being with the limiting stories of you know what what's possible for you of, of who you are and you know what you can do what you can't do you know so many of us are like trees that the roots are just on the surface you know they are you know our roots are just on the surface just getting that nourishment and you know tapping into those resources and you know metaphorical minerals and nutrients that are on the surface of the soil when deep within the soil there's rich nutrients and resources that would help us so much and we're not tapping into those we're not you know spending that time to really tap into that you know wisdom and and qualities and knowing and even skills and you know so much that we can access through our unconscious mind and what stops us hello scott lovely to see you here gina lovely to see you here so yeah talking about the unconscious mind and the rich resources that are there and how many of us are like trees that are you know just our roots are just on the surface we're not sending our roots deep down into the soil where there are you know really rich nutrients and resources that we could be tapping into and we're not so why is that why don't we do that it's belief and perception a lot we um, think many people you know we accept this is this is this is life this is as good as it gets this is you know this is who I am this is what I can do this is what is possible for me what's not possible and we just we just accept it we don't even believe that there are that we are able to tap into those rich resources that are available to us so we don't don't even go there hmm so an invitation, an invitation today through this guided experience to let yourself open up, let yourself, you know, experience something new perhaps, or, you know, deepen your experience and connect with parts of yourself, with your resources in ways that you perhaps haven't before. Lovely to see you here, Annette. So yeah, this is a guided experience. So. Uh, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist. I'm also and uh, also work with the Akashic Records. So often I combine those to create really rich spiritual experiences to assist people to tap into their resources because life is life can be so different for many of us as we continue to tap into resources that wealth of resources in our unconscious mind and that we can tap into through our unconscious mind you know given the 
desire to do that. So if you're driving or in a place that's not suitable to to take some time, maybe you know 15 minutes or so to have to relax and go into a inner experience, a bit of an inner journey, please do this later. This isn't suitable to even listen to when you're driving because you know, it, it distracts you, your uh, mind at some level from what you need to concentrate on. So if there's anything that you're doing that's not appropriate to listen to this, you can do it later. The video will be, be there later. Thank you. Okay, so if you're in that place where you're going to proceed with this guided journey, I invite you to Get comfortable and take a deep breath right down to the belly and letting the breath all the way out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Imagine that you're breathing in the sun, the sunlight, that vitality and energy from the sun being energized and that light and energy is just releasing anything that you're ready to let go of any tension or stress or worries or concerns just for a short time just let go of that that just like you're bathing in the Sun you know that's the way our imagination allows us to tap into resources because our, you know that's just part of our um, potential of our unconscious mind to to tap into resources through our imagination so the Sun through you know symbols and metaphors we can really tap into um, resources that improve our well-being and our energy levels so breathing in the assist us to tap into our wisdom so yeah, imagine you're just breathing in that light and energy of the Sun and if you're like me outside in the Sun it's even more real you can feel the Sun on your and you can imagine that too actually our unconscious mind doesn't know the difference between what's um, physical reality and what's the reality in our imagination so you can benefit the same so breathing in that light and energy from the Sun just feeling that sense of nourishment and well-being that comes when you just sit in the Sun and bathe in that light also the Sun is a symbol for spiritual light and nourishment for consciousness just letting yourself bathe in that light and energy of the Sun for a moment imagine just breathing that in letting that wash through you and over you relaxing letting your breath find its own natural rhythm and the energy of the Sun start to just energize and nourish you I'd like you to imagine that you're a tree a particular tree might might come to mind that you'd like to imagine that you are that you'd like to work with today what just a general sense of trees find too just you know imagining that you have roots going down to the soil branches reaching up to the sky reaching out and up strong trunk holding you firm and strong connecting the branches and the roots just imagine that for a moment and you might notice as a metaphor today that your roots are you know a lot of your roots are actually just on the surface of the soil they're just um, you know they're getting enough nourishment to survive but that's all they're getting just that 
you know, the sun and the water and the nutrients from the surface of the soil. But the rich nutrients are right down deep in the soil. So what we're going to do today is imagine now just sending, imagine that you have roots and you can just send them down deep into the soil. You can feel the unconscious mind really understands metaphors so it can bypass the thinking so just allow the thinking to drop away a bit and allow your creative mind to be present here in this experience and just imagine sending your roots down into the earth right down deep imagine that with your roots you can just reach like right down and out as far as you need to your roots can just begin to just access the whatever you're needing in your life at the moment you might like to bring to mind a particular situation that you'd like to be accessing more of your resources more of your unconscious wisdom more of your deeper wisdom more of yourself more you know of your strength or your courage or your intelligence whatever it is more of your self-love more um, self-worth more sense of abundance or whatever it is for you whatever the situation is that you'd like to have a sense of accessing more of the resources that would benefit you to meet that situation in your life. So imagine that your roots are just now reaching down deep into the soil and they're just able to search out and find and connect with those resources. You know, in a forest, the, the roots of the trees can all connect and communicate and network. So you're not only limited to your resources that you, you know, and your experiences. You can actually, through your roots, connect with. Imagine there's like a forest of trees all with their roots going down and you can connect with that network of intelligence of wisdom of all the trees of all the consciousness that ever was or will be you can actually connect with that network of intelligence of wisdom of strength of confidence of whatever you need of abundance that whatever allowing your roots to just you don't have to figure it out so just allowing yourself to connect in with that network like you're just plugging in to that network that's just imagine it's under the soil where all the trees all beings connect with this network and all of life is connected to this network and you're just plugging into that and feeling that energy from that whole network you're giving what you know your energy and sharing that and the whole network is sharing with you it's running through you so you all have access to the collective wisdom the collective knowledge and skills like a yeah, I guess a little bit like the internet so you just have access to that network just feeling yourself breathing in and breathing out Allowing yourself to just access whatever resources you're needing with your breath, breathing in and out of your roots. I can just breathe deeply in and out of your roots, breathing in exactly what you need. Giving out that which someone else might need, which another part of life may need and benefit from. Knowing that Whatever resources you're needing are there in that network, in that connection, where all those roots connect with the collective consciousness and wisdom, the collective knowledge, connect collective abilities and qualities.
as if you can just tap into that and learn that that your brain just learn that like a download you can just activate that learning that knowing so it becomes part of you part of your conscious self you're tapping into that and intending to download that resource into your consciousness so as you have access to that consciously and just feeling how energized you feel as you're tapping into a fuller sense of who you are and your resources and gratitude for that Breathing in and out, just allowing yourself to give and receive in a way you may never have before and connect. And just trusting that process, the, the wisdom of your unconscious mind to just be receiving now that information that's exactly the resource that you need, that consciousness. then just taking a moment to allow that process to happen and asking that though you may not be aware consciously of it now that that awareness filters through into your consciousness over the coming days of ways to express and Tap into those resources that will serve you best in that current situation. I'd like you to imagine for a moment life. Imagine living a life from the place of having already tapped into those resources of having those qualities, that wisdom, that having access to exactly what you need in that moment to do and be exactly how you'd like to be in that situation. That you already are that, you already have that. It's just part of your being now, it's part of your consciousness. It's like an expanded sense of yourself. It's like you were just living out of such a small part of yourself before with the metaphor of the shallow roots now you are part of that your consciousness is connected with the, the consciousness of all of life and it's such an expanded sense of self and what is possible for you what who you are and from that place imagine doing and being and experiencing that situation in the way that you would like to, how that feels, how you feel, how you move, how you stand, how your body feels, what you're wearing, colors, do you notice colors, what colors would you wear? Just really feel that, this is embodiment, so really feel that in your body, being that person, doing things in a new way, because you now have all those resources to draw on. This new embodiment, this new sense of who you are and of your potentiality that's and possibilities that's infinite actually and so expanded just notice how that feels in your body just really let yourself be with that is there a main emotion feeling that's there 
Feelings are so important, it can really assist us to create more of that feeling when you identify the feeling of something. So do you feel more peaceful or joy or confidence? More courage, more strength. What is it for you? What's the main feeling? I'd like you to think of three things that you can do that will give you that feeling, small things that are very doable for you, like straight away, like today, that you can make part of your life that will give you that feeling. Just allowing them to come to you, three things. You know, might be you know, so many things that could be doing a painting or drawing or going for a walk outside sitting in the sun going to a particular place wearing a particular outfit or even buying something new that would give you that feeling even a color that you could wear something maybe even something that you could eat that has that quality, you know, that has a particular quality of pleasure or freshness or life, vitality and energy, something that reminds you of that. So think of three things. And committing to do those for the next 21 days and, you know, if not all three every day, at least doing something every day that gives you that feeling so that becomes part of you and then you notice more things that allow you to express that feeling and have that experience. Hmm. Wonderful. So yeah, you can take this feeling and this energy with you into the rest of your day. Thank you for joining me and let's just bring you right back, make sure you're fully back. So coming back fully into your body, into the present moment, take a nice deep breath, just counting you up, the count of three, you'll be fully back in the present moment in your body, right back here now, fully awake, alert, one, two, three, that's it, back fully. Just noticing the room around you. Feeling really grounded and present in your body, feet on the floor. And you might like to, you know, take a quick note of your experience of those three things and uh, yeah. I'd love to hear something about your experience in the comments if you feel like sharing, you know, what the feeling was, what those three things are. Wow, nature's doing amazing things out here while we're, I'm doing this guided experience. I just had about uh, 10 white birds fly overhead and the horses were, horses in the field are all were running around. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, nature responds to, to energy and it's just sort of interacting with this experience in some way. It's quite beautiful. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me and have a beautiful afternoon, evening, wherever you are, day. Ah, Rose, lovely to see you here. Thanks for joining me. Bye then.